This is my first book. It takes about an hour, hour and a half average to read. And it's called Garden of Sugar and Pineapples. And by Pineapple Sam. Okay. The day started early in Hawaii. Her husband Segundo left at 4.30 in the morning to catch the plantation trucks at the crossing. Her children left for school at 7 a.m. Gwen Maria kept busy each day as she waited for the arrival of the baby. She did her light chores in the morning and waited for the right moment to leave for Wilcox Hospital in Lihui. It was 11.30 in the morning when she made the decision to walk to the bus stop with only her ID and a few necessities in a week bag. A squeal of the air brakes startled her as she looked up and see the bus had arrived. People started disembarking as soon as the bus door opened. Let me help you, Nana. A young petite Filipino lady reached for January's hand and helped her stand up with a smile. Oh, thank you, Ading. You are so kind. Her voice was weak, but grateful to her fellow passenger. You're ready to have baby, Nana. You look really big, no? Yes, Ading. I'm going to the hospital now. It is time. Nobody going with you to the hospital, Nana. Nobody going with you. Nobody, but it's okay. I leave my note for my children and Tata. They will come to see, the, see me at the hospital after work and school. Oh, that's good then. The last person to enter the bus was a farmer. He waited for Januaria to climb the steps and helped her to an open seat behind the driver. Nana, give me your hand. Let me help you. The same farmer gently grabbed her hand and guided her to her seat. Oh, thank you, Barok. This baby would be her eight. She was a loving mother, experienced, she thought, at giving birth. She continued her breathing exercise as she maintained her seated position. Each labor pain brought tightness to her belly and grimace to her face. The bus ride, an agonizing 40 minutes before she pulled up in front of the hospital. I was the eighth child and she was 42. And uh, she caught a bus in Koloa town to go to Lihui to give birth. And she rode on the bus by herself. And that's how the book started. That's when I was born. Did you, were you born and raised in, in Kolo Koloa? Koloa? Yes, I was born and raised in Koloa. I was like, you guys going to school, you know, with slippers, t-shirt. Sometimes I don't wear shoes, kind of uncomfortable. So I use slippers and that kind of uncomfortable. So I just went barefooted sometimes. What inspired you to write? Um, you know, that's a really good question. What inspired me to write? I've got so many nephews and nieces and cousins and relatives. And uh, we sit down and we, we talk story and there's so many stories that I have I wanna, uh, I wanna share with people. And the only way I could do that is writing it down. And I thought maybe I'd just write it down. And that's what inspired me, because people were so interested to find out what I did. And uh, that's what got me started. From a small island like this, a lot of people would tell, tell me, ah, you're too small. You know, can do much. I only pick pineapple, you know, like over here. So I said, no, I got to do something more. I'm small, but my heart is big. Why is your name Pineapple Sam? Well, Pineapple Sam. Uh, my friends usually call me Sam, okay? And when I left the islands and entered the military, my friends called me Pineapple because I was from Hawaii. And so I just put it together, Pineapple Sam. Do you like pineapples? Do I like pineapples? I love pineapples. I love pineapples. How long does it take to write a book? And to write a book, it averages about a month and a half to write a book. 
What do I write about? I write about my life adventures, you know, what I did when I was growing up in Hawaii, and when I decided to leave, I traveled the uh, United States, and I started writing about all my adventures. What is your favorite book you wrote? My favorite book, I guess that would be the first one. The, the, the first one was called uh, The Gardens of Sugar and Pineapples. That was my first book. Did you like writing in school? Did I like writing in school? Yes, I, I, I like writing in school. Uh, did I like, what did I like writing about in school? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I like writing notes to my girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like that. That's the length of it. Yes? Oh. How many pineapples did you pick in your lifetime? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I work in a sugar, uh, pineapple fields right back here in Anahola when I was 16 is when I first started. Let's say one pineapple truck uh, with 15 of us. One pineapple truck was about 5,000 pineapples. And uh, I didn't pick them all, of course, you know, my friends and I did. So that was quite a bit of uh, pineapples we picked. Shipwreck used to be one of my favorite places to go. Of course, the, uh, the, the Grand Hyatt wasn't there, you know, the, it wasn't there. Have you swam there? Yes. In fact, that cliff there, we used, there used to be a, one of our playgrounds there. We used to like, climb on a cliff and take seagull eggs. You know, these are seagull eggs. Yeah. And another interesting thing we used to do there is jump off there and time it right so the wave comes, we jump down and we go down under a cave under there. There's a whole bunch of lobsters under there. It used to be one of my favorite places. Thank you. I have, I come from a, you know, with four brothers and uh, uh, four sisters and three brothers. I've got so many nephews and nieces and cousins and relatives. And uh, we sit down and we, we talk story and there's so many stories that I have I wanna, uh, I wanna share with people. And the only way I could do that is writing it down and I thought maybe I'll just write it down and that's what inspired me because people were so interested to find out what I did and uh, that's what got me started.